Kyore Awards. It's uh, Asa Lee here, Rawuri Patterson, now with the Tapahana, Fanoa Tapahana, and uh, Fanoa Tofayo. You're all from the island out there, Naitarangi Tomoronga Moana. So I'm here, I thought I'd do a little video because I love watching my good mate. Michael Morstein's videos on Facebook. He says some real stuff. Look, you got the white, 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 white man's clock on your wall. See that white man's clock? Doesn't even work. Oh, I think it does work, but I never look at it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here we are. Another day in the kitchen cooking up a kai. Cooking some kai. It's a pretty good kai. Ubernaut. There's a beer thing I had the other day, pretty sick out of sick of ass. I'll take it, I'll put my, uh, this thing I sold, I'll put, I sold something today. I'll get it for you, so you can have a little look at it. This here. A homebrew record. I love this record, it's like one of my favourite records of all time. And I had to sell it to try and cover my debts. So I don't go completely belly up and this is special because it says dedicated see that dedicated to Issa Lee which is my friend well, my old mentor Tom wrote that who also wrote all the lyrics uh, or most of the lyrics on here and signed Tom Scott as you can see there and this is this is my favorite record oh, second favorite compared to when i when i'm comparing it to uh last week which i'm also gonna have to sell it is my second favorite uh, but oh gee sometimes you gotta part with stuff you love to um do the right thing you know my health my health caused me to be in a bad situation to lose money you know to fuck up essentially completely and be in the debt to twelve thousand dollars which to many of the people i know is not not shit all money but to me as a beneficiary is a lot of money and uh with my health being what it is very very sensitive very very sensitive empathic person i, I cannot do jobs that have no morals or have no conscience which is or i just i'm just too sensitive so can't really work uh that much i do work a little bit so yeah so um sad to see that see this record here this record here go but it's gone to a good home mikey uh matt mays down in Angola has bought that from me for five hundred and sixty dollars, which has told me I should have slipped my ground and got the real money that it's worth. But you know, I knew that kid was keen. He was so keen. He had made like seven offers on trade me. I knew he was so keen. I knew he couldn't go much further because he just obviously didn't have the cash. And I was like, if that was me, and I was an older old cat like me, like old cunt, like forty two year old man. I think he's in his twenties. Um, you know, you got to each one, teach one. You got to look like if he's going to look after that, and it's got my name on it. It's the only one that's ever going to be like that. From when I used to work with Tom, I used to like uh, learn from Tom. I miss Tom. Tom's a genius. Too bad 2018 happened and I lost the fucking plot and got locked in fucking Buchanan and Hepuna Waiora Waiataro. Yeah. All those bad experiences, terrible, terrible. ICUs, ruthless. All over the girl Antonia Mathers, who I loved the shit out of, and who's told me she weren't into it, which I was okay with. But then all this other shit got involved, and old Thai bone and all that shit ruined my ass. And now, yeah, I'm where I am. So peace to the pen, ing, wanker. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? It's all good. Because I've got me the Aaron Gordon patch. Motherucker. And he is a dope 
you know I got this because he's in the movie uh, in a movie I like uh, Uncle Drew he plays Casper and he plays such a good job as a cocky idiot that I thought I'll purchase that sucker and yeah I, I collect little cards because they're not that expensive and it's good fun you know I mean if I was rich I'd buy some flash ones but that ain't money right now this is from my um, Auckland City Limits where I saw Action Bronson and Kendrick Lamar for the first time and Cold War Kids and Kamasi Washington who waved he said what up to me I, f I felt like it I was bipolar as I was manic as kind of got more skills than a <laughs> more skills than just most people ever will like my friend Gay Ian across the road Ian Morton that guy's a true G uh, keeps on flirting with me the old gay man but I always have to shut them down just because I'm warm friendly and kind doesn't mean I want to do the wild thing with the, with the gay even though these dudes seem to love the shit out of me I ain't down <laughs> so yeah anyway I thought I would do this this can be my new like I was going to do a podcast but let's face it all I have is an iPhone and there's a billion podcasts so I'm just going to do Instagram videos which maybe 5 people, 10 people going to watch and then maybe stick it on YouTube too do a vibe and today we had Zion he was out of the he was out of the game and the Warriors smashed us by like 40 points man I was gutted gutted but oh well Zion's my favourite player yeah I love Zion I like Yanni too. Yanni is my second favorite. They're both pretty up there for me. Yeah. See, I got a Yanni. These are relatively cheap cards. I love these guys though. I don't need a $10,000 card. I love a $10,000 card. <laughs> so I'd probably have to sell it right now to cover my debts, but let's face it. It's always good to have a few options like my girl Antonia told me back in the day when she was teaching me the ways of the rich force like my cousins Scott and Sam ballers the cold hams they's richer than your average beer richer but they ain't really down I haven't even talked to them 10-15 years you know and they weren't even that friendly because they're snobs I mean I have a snobby side to me but I prefer not to live from that prefer to be a good human being not that being a snob is potentially 100% evil but it's a bit lame you know what I'm saying to me it's a bit lame and thanks to my homie Pucky Dori Hori he enabled me to buy this raid there's a there's no iron team there's an a-hole you know what I mean he's not an a-hole he's a cool guy he's a cool guy my friend Clement, who was a monkey, who was not really talking to me that much at the moment. But I love that dude. I love him. My friends tell me don't be friends with the gangsters, but like, man, pe gang people, they're people, bro. We're all people. All of us are people. Just don't be a dick to other people. That's all I do. And this is, as my old friend Himant said this is my master Yodi <laughs> Yodista and my uh, here's me when I was a youngster I always loved this guy Luke Skywalker I've even got Darth Vader he's over there that's my dad <coughs> if you've met my dad you'll probably think he's really nice but if you're his son he's <laughs> He wants to own you. He wants to tell you what to do with every inch of his being. I ain't down with that. Anyway. That's sort of a lot of my family. I love them even though. It's a tricky relationships there. It's tricky. It's tricky relationships. Iso clan and photo by my niece Hana. <laughs> Who I haven't seen since lockdown began. Probably longer. Probably 100 days or something. Oh, my knee is sore, so I'm gonna have to give up. Oh, stop, give up. Stop this now. Peace, love, and mug beans, baby.
Ciao.